Hello, hello, hello. Sir David the Bard coming to you from way down here in uh, Australia. Uh, I finally found my camera again and uh, you got me again on the camera. Anyway, I've got a topic tonight that I wanted to cover that I thought was important. Um, one of the things that the Mormon Church has done because girls are now allowed in the Boy Scouts and the Boy Scouts must accept gay uh, members and leaders, the Mormon Church said, screw you, I'm not going to be a scout anymore and they've uh, backed out of this year in the 2019 they're backing out of the American Boy Scout Association and they're going to come up with their own uh, version of young men's activities. I can't wait to see that. Anyway, what does that have to do with the Mormon Church? Why is that important? Uh, cults have a way of hooking you and rehooking you and rehooking you and making sure it's coming from every direction that you are supporting them, that you're not speaking ill of them, that you have so much to do you don't have time to sit down and think. Anyway, here's what I think with the Boy Scouts. I hated Scouts. Uh, you know, now the girls can come in Boy Scouts. I might go back and be a Scout. I don't know. <laughs> I've been scouting around for girls for years. But anyway, um, the idea of Scouts from a Cub Scout right on through an Eagle Scout is to shut your mouth and be orderly and to be very military uh, oriented that uh, people have patches on their arms and badges on their chest and stripes here and hats and all kinds of insignias that uh, show authority. Now one of the things that the Mormon Church has done and done well, I have to say they've done well, is they'll get a Boy Scout and they'll make him shut his mouth and earn uh, badges till he's a Boy Scout. And they have ceremonies in their chapel, that, uh, in the recreation hall, where they have uh, something about the broken arrow or the arrow on fire. I don't know. Arrow up your butt. I don't know what the name of that particular uh, <coughs> orgy is. But anyway, um, light of arrow, I think, something like that. Anyway. The point is that the Mormons have used the Boy Scouts of America to uh, indoctrinate their young men to shut their mouths and to be part of an organization where you just salute and say yes. That kind of uh, uh, loyalty and that kind of background is ideal for a cult. It's ideal for a cult. You know, if you've been in there since you were eight years old and you got, uh, graduate out at 18 as an Eagle Scout, my gosh, you've got insignias all over you, you've got badges, you've got hats, you've got, you know, arrows and, and uh, boulders and all kinds of crazy things that Scouts give you. And uh, you've been on every jamboree in the world and um, all you've learned to do is shut your mouth and say, yes sir, yes sir. And when you indoctrinate young people that way, it's much easier when you say, now it's time for you to go on a mission, the young men will say, yes sir, yes sir. And they'll go uh, because they've been indoctrinated to do what the authorities of the church tell them to do. So your scoutmaster <clears throat> might be your Sunday school teacher in the Mormon church. That person serves both capacities. And so um, when you're called to be a scout, you're also called to be uh, in the bishop's uh, meeting or in uh, the uh, elders quorum president is the uh, scout leader. Now, I think what you're going to see now is the untangling of the giant web of the Mormon church. I predicted six years ago that the, the internet would be the downfall of the Mormon church. And it certainly has been that and it's continuing to be. So without the Boy Scouts, how do you get those young men to be so regimented that when they turn 18, rather than having a car and a girlfriend, like I did, uh, they want to go and knock on the doors in Peru and have people spit on them and uh, freeze their ass off and, and live in abject poverty. Well, uh, it's going to be a difficult thing and I think you're going to see the next generation of Mormons more cynical and more uh, deserting of the Mormon Church because those young boys now have girlfriends, they have cars, 
they have jobs, uh, they're going to college, and they're not regimented like the old generations were, where you just say, yes sir, yes sir, and uh, you know, uh, all of the saluting and all of the uh, intimidation and the tactics of authority. So when the Mormon Church talks about authority, boy, it lines right up with the voice. Boy Scouts uh, motto, be prepared, and uh, you know, the authority of the uh, Scoutmaster. Well, be that as it may, there's been many, many molestations in the Mormon Church uh, during the Boy Scout, uh, uh, I call it a jamboree, <laughs> I don't know what you call it. The, uh, the time that the Boy Scouts have been in the Mormon Church, the molestation is very, very high. So anyway, I just wanted to give this one little video here saying that without the Boy Scouts, you're going to see less missionaries. You're going to see less dedicated missionaries. You're going to see more missionaries come home. They're going to go, hey, this ain't for me. I'm gone. And uh, you're going to see some of these uh, difficult missions uh, losing their people. And of course, they're going to be losing converts and they won't get certain converts. So I just wanted to give this video a chance to air that the Mormon Church in 2019 is getting rid of the Boy Scouts of America as their young men's program and they vowed that they're going to make their own young men's program but it won't be as good as the indoctrination of the Scouts. The Scouts are masters at uh, causing boys to respect and to uh, obey the leadership of the, uh, the, the Scout regimentation that goes on. So anyway, I gotta put my chair up. <laughs> You're, I know you're gonna be jealous because my chair, I got a brand new chair, okay? And it's a lift chair. You're gonna see me go up in the air like I go to heaven every night like this. You know, I don't need the Mormon church. I just need a button on my chair and off I go. $2,100, no problem. Lift chair for the bard. <laughs>